How is it going everybody? It is Resaliate here and today guys I am bringing you the ultimate walkthrough and the ultimate guide to the brand new zombies map Garad Krovi for DLC 3. Now guys what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about the Garad Krovi map. Starting from the first room I'm going to go an entire walkthrough of the entire Garad Krovi map showing you all the wall weapon locations, all the gobblegum locations, all the perk locations and just show you a complete walkthrough of the map letting you get a feel of where everything is and then guys I'm gonna show you how to turn on power how to open the pack punch how to build the zombie shield as well as how to build the brand new wonder weapon the ripper or the dragon flamethrower it's gonna be awesome guys I'm gonna show you everything the dragon egg the just everything that you need to know to become an absolute master at this map how to ride the dragon how to get the dragon egg how to hatch it everything in this video so you guys may not know what any of that stuff is yet but I'm gonna explain it all to you so if you do enjoy guys please be sure to smash a like subscribe to my channel if you are new sorry for the long intro without further ado let's jump into the video all right guys so we start in the first room and uh, you guys can see I'm being attacked by a giant bug but don't worry about that basically when you start into the first room this is where you're gonna spawn and if you take a left right here you will see there is an RK5 wall by on the wall here now besides that there's nothing to the left here besides a little trench that goes down that way and leads you to the front door now if you come over to the right you will see just a little barrier and then you'll come up to these four wooden boards with badges on them now what these are are kind of like how Zetsubo no Shima had the altars or origins had the chests basically these are your challenges these are showing you everything that you need to do in the map to get a certain amount of rewards and showing you that you need to acquire the dragon egg now each player in the game will have one of these acquired to them and you know that it's yours because it will have this green smoke above it like this and that's what lets you know that that is yours now if you take a right over here then you will see that there is a gobble gun machine now I actually can't pass because the dragon just breathes fire I'll get into why the dragon does that later but the point being is if you come past here you will see a gobble gun machine as well as a Shiva wall by if you come past there to the left here you will see quick revive and then that's all you really need to know about the first room now there's only one door that leaves the first room and that is this one here which is the department store if you open this one up it is 500 points you take a right and you will see a KRM wall by besides that there is nothing on the first floor here besides a little bit of room and area so what you're gonna want to do is take this stairway up here to the second floor you'll see a gramophone there and a L car 9 wall by take a left and you will see this mannequin here now this is gonna be important later for one of the masks that you can acquire but just remember that this is where it will be later on nothing too big just remember that the mannequin is there now also guys if you take a little left on over here you will see that there is a debris that you can open for 750 points and goes to the third floor and then if you take a right you can see that there is this balcony here which has basically a mystery box location and that's about it so if you come back through you can come into this area you can see that there is another stairway but you can't actually go up through that stairway because it's broken but you can see that there's a pharaoh wall by and a door for 750 points so if you open that door for 750 points, you will see Juggernog as well as on this chair is one of the first locations for the Dragon Shield. I have an in-depth tutorial on my channel, guys, on how to build the Dragon Shield. So if you want to know how to build the Dragon Shield, just check that video out. But I will briefly just, just show you guys the locations in this tutorial. So Juggernog's here, so just remember that whenever you turn the power on. And you come down these stairs, you see another Gobble Gun Machine, as well as one more of the Shield part locations, which I will pick up. This is all there is for this room, guys. So now we're going to go down to the operations bunker. So if you come down here and you take a left, then you will see that there is a trap as well as a shelf where this is the third zombie shield part location. Again, in-depth tutorial on my channel. There's a couple computers, a door, a gate, and then on the other side, you can see a buildable table, which is this is where you will build your zombie shield or your rocket shield. Or not your rocket shield, your dragon shield, sorry. And then over here we've got the Vesper wall by and another door. So we're first going to take this door here because this is the door that leads us to power, which is 1,000 points. You open it up, you take a left. Actually, there's a door here, but that's only available once you turn the power on, so we have to take a left. And if you check right here, this is where one of the dragon shield parts will spawn. Again, in depth tutorial on my channel. I keep saying that, but I'm just going to show you guys briefly where they are. Another dragon shield part is right up here. That's where that one is. Nothing else is really in this room besides a little bit of a barrier and some doors. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this door right here, clear the debris for 1,250 points, and it will lead us to the big courtyard and the big tower building. Now, if you run all the way up into this tower building, you will see a gobble gum machine as well as you can turn on power in this room. So I'm going to go ahead and turn power on, and there we go, guys. We officially have turned on the power. Now, you're going to come up here, and you can see one of the computers, which this computer is what we're going to need to do to turn on the Pack-a-Punch, which I will get into later. So we've got the computer that helps us turn on Pack a Punch. We've got a Wonder Fizz location, and we've got a Bowie Knife location, as well as we have the M8A7 wall by right there. That's really all there is for this room. So now we're gonna head back down the stairs, and I'm gonna show you guys the next room, which is right here on the left, which is the armory. So we're gonna take a left here at the armory, take a right in here, and then you see a door. This door leads back down to the room that we were just in. So now we are gonna take this route. So instead of going left, we're gonna take a right. So we go up these stairs. To the left, again, is the courtyard, and to the right is a barrier. Nothing else besides a little wall by down here. Or not a wall by, a wonder fizz. This is also where one of the zombie shield parts could spawn. And if you come down here, then there's a little area that will lead you to the library. So it's actually called the Supply Depot, but I call it the library because there's a lot of books in here. So if you come in here, guys, this will be the second location that you need to do for your Pack-a-Punch. You will need to activate these consoles to acquire the Dragon Network control. I will get into that a little bit later. But if you come up the stairs here, you can see just a little bit of the library and as well as one of the areas that you can ride the dragon. You come over here once you have unlocked the Dragon Network controller and you can ride the dragon to go to Pack-a-Punch. I'll get into that a little bit later, like I said. This is the H or the ICR1 wall by right here. As well as if you come out this way, you can see that there is the Speed Cola perk right here. So that's where Speed Cola is located. Oh. All right, guys. So that's about it for this room for now. So now we are going to take a right, head all the way over here into this little doorway, which will lead us back to the armory. Now, coming up here, you can see that there's just a bunch of MG42s on the wall, as well as there's a zombie shield part location right there. You come up these stairs, and you can see that the nether zombie shield location is right here, as well as the armory is in here. You can activate this bridge for 500 points, which will lead you to a different room, which I will get into later. But we're going to take this wrap down here instead. So we come down here, guys, and you see a mystery box location. You see a dragon egg nest location, which we're going to get into later, as well as a VMP wall bind. Now, you can either go down this way, which really just leads you back to where we were before, or you can come up these stairs, take a right, and open this door for 1,000 points. All right, guys, so we are now going to walk up this little stairway here into the Belinsky Square area. Um, this is just kind of the third floor area that I was telling you guys about earlier. As you can see, it says third floor. There's not really much up here except for a Kuda wall by and then just a way to go down, as well as a dragon may stick his head in here and blow some fire sometimes. But uh, besides that, there's not really much to the third floor, except you can head this way out to the infirmary. And we're actually going to head that way now. So we head into the infirmary. You can see an Argus wall by, stamina up, as well as a third location for the zombie shield part. Now, there's the mystery box location. There's that little bridge that I told you about earlier. See, everything's kind of merging together now. This is the bridge where we were earlier. You can activate that for 500 points. There's another gobblegum machine, and there's a stairway. So if we come down the stairway, you can see that it's kind of the area that we were in earlier where it's just kind of some stuff as well as there is that area that we went to to turn on the power. So this is really all there is to for that little area. So now we're going to hang over to the tank, head over to the tank factory, which is this way. You take a left to the tank factory and you open this door for 1,500 points and both the doors actually open as well as you can find double tap. Double tap is sitting right here, easy as peasy. So the last thing that there is up here is you head up here and this is the third piece that you need to activate for for your pack punch like I said I'm gonna get into that later on this is the can 44 and this is really all there is to the map guys this is everything that was most of the stuff on this map so now I'm gonna get into the tutorial of how to build the pack a punch as well as how to build the brand new dragon network controller and the dragon egg so guys now what I'm gonna jump into is how to actually build the pack a punch so guys, if you want to build Pack-a-Punch, what you need to do is you need to require you need to acquire these code cylinder pieces. And once you acquire these pieces, you need to get a certain piece for each room. And uh, there is three rooms across the map that you can go to, and three certain cylinders that you can acquire to put in these little 
at ice, and then they will send a rocket splurging down into the ground, which the zombies will then attack, and you need to kill all the zombies and protect this little rocket while the zombies are attacking it, and once it, you have protected it for long enough, you will acquire one of the pieces. So the first location is right next to power, where you uh, basically go to turn power on, you go up the stairs, and you take a right, and you will see this first little thing. Once you have the code cylinder that is good for this computer, you activate it, and it will send it shooting down. The second location is by the infirmary where I showed you guys a little bit earlier. You come up here and it's by double tap and you go up to double tap, you take a left, you take a right, you walk all the way up and then that location is right there. Again, activate it, fight the zombies off and do the same thing. And then the third location, guys, is as if you're going back by that Wonder Fist piece. You take this little route by the supply depot, you go back into the library area like I showed you guys earlier, and you activate the little panel that is sitting on the wall there. After you do all that, guys, you would just need to take the pieces down to where you built the zombie shield, where that buildable bench was in the sewer area. I don't really know if it's a sewer, but it's basically what y'all know what I mean. So you take it down there, and and then you see on the little computer here that you can place in these four uh, little pieces. You place them in there and then you're good to go. Then all you need to do is head back to the computer that you used to activate one of the giant rockets that shoots from the sky and you turn around and you can see that you can activate the dragon and the dragon will come flying over to pick you up to actually fly over to Pack-a-Punch. Now guys, once you've flown over to Pack-a-Punch, this is where you acquire your dragon egg. Now, to acquire a dragon egg, you need to go to the very bottom of the house that the Pack-a-Punch dragon takes you to. Once you get there, you need to go all the way down to the back of the sewer and look up. You will see the dragon egg up there. All you need to do is shoot it, and once you shoot it, it will come rolling down. Now the next thing you need to do, guys, is pick up the egg, go back into the sewer, and it will launch you out into the first room. You need to place your egg into the egg nest that is sitting right there in the first room and then go over to your challenge board and check each challenge that the dragon egg asks you to do. The first challenge will be to burn the egg. So what you need to do is you need to make, just sit there in the area and wait for a dragon to come by. And when a dragon comes by, he will breathe fire on the egg and that's all you need to do. You then need to wait one round, wait for the egg to cool down, then pick it up. And guys, one thing I forgot to mention is the the third, the fourth challenge is that you need to actually kill the burned zombies or the inflammable zombies. So basically, when the dragon flies down and he burns the zombies, you just need to kill the zombies while they're still on fire. And you do that a few times, and then you're done. The second thing it'll ask you to do, guys, is get penetrating multi-kills, which basically means that you need to kill the two zombies with one bullet. So really, all you need to do is get two zombies lined up, shoot them in the head, and do that multiple times until the challenge is over. It really doesn't take that long, and that is all you need to do. The third thing you need to do, guys, is get melee kills. It'll literally ask you to just get melee kills. All you need to do is kill zombies with your shield, and that is all you'll need to do. The last thing you're going to have to do is incubate the dragon egg. So what you need to do is take the dragon egg back to the sewer that you were at at Pack-a-Punch, put it in this little incubation chamber, and wait around. You just need to fight zombies in that house for a round, and then the dragon egg will be completed. You then take the dragon egg back to the pedestal that you found the challenges at, hold the action button, and you will get your dragon iron fist thing. So guys, that is literally all there is to the Garage Krovi map so far, besides the main Easter egg. I Then all you gotta do, guys, is just build a zombie shield, go from there, check out my tutorials, guys, if you did. Enjoy this video. Please be sure to smash that like, guys. It took me a really long time to edit all this together and just put it all together, so if I did help you out, please smash a like it would be much appreciated but either way guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time adios